Hey, it's Rob with Fandroid.com. We're here with Aneto at Google I.O. and about to check out some new features of Google Now. Great. Uh, hi, I'm Aneto. I work on Google Now on tap. Um, this is a new feature coming in the Android M uh, release. Uh, this, I can show you an early preview of how it works and how it's going to be helpful. Awesome. Great. Um, so uh, Google Now on tap is this feature in Android M that where Google is trying to help you with whatever you're doing on your phone in that moment. Um, and so an example of that uh, is that this works across a variety of apps, but a good example of that is let's say you know, I'm in an email app like Inbox, although this could work in any email app, and I get a message with someone telling me to go watch um, something Pitch, Pitch Perfect 2. So I might not have much information about this. Ordinarily, I'd go like fumble around my phone, switch to different apps, maybe go do a search, but with Now on Tap, um, I can just you know, do a tap and hold on the home button here, and then Google uses the context of what I'm looking at on my screen to bring me a quick answer or help me do some actions related to this content. So what you see here is that a card came up here um, and it has some information uh, about a movie it looks like called Pitch Perfect 2. And this is coming from Google's Knowledge Graph. Google's Knowledge Graph you know, has information about all the things in the world, people, places, and so on. And so we get some reviews and ratings here from IMDb. Um, we can play a trailer on YouTube. And something that's really exciting for developers here is, is this um, bottom part of the card here where you see there's an app for IMDb, uh, Flickster, Twitter, and this is coming from uh, the app indexing. Um, so all the apps um, can submit themselves for app indexing and many apps have already done this. And the apps that are on my phone will show up here if they're relevant for this particular information. So I can go check out more information on IMDb, maybe look at the Rotten Tomatoes score, or see what people are saying about this movie on Twitter. Okay, so this is an example where um, I'm in an e email app and um, there's information about a movie. So let's move to another example. Um, let's say I'm in a chat app like Viber here, um, and a friend of mine says, hey, you want to go to Koi Tower this weekend? Again, maybe I haven't been there, I don't have much information about this. I could go fumbling around my phone, or I could use Now on Tap for Google to help me right here in this moment uh, to get information, get a quick answer, a quick action about what I'm looking at. Um, so here again, I, I long press on home, uh, tap and hold, and uh, Google uh, uses the context of what I'm doing to try and help me. And so immediately I can see, okay, there's a picture, it looks like Koi Tower, some kind of landmark in San Francisco. Um, I can navigate there because Google is anticipating the action that I might want to do. I can check out some more information on Yelp, or I can you know, check out more on TripAdvisor. So let's say I click into that, um, I go right to the Koi Tower page on TripAdvisor, um, and so I don't have to like search around or fumble around. This is obviously very helpful to the developer here, but also helpful to me to decide like where I, I want to go and, and do this thing with my friend. That's uh, going to be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I hope, super we cool. hope so. Um, and so you, know, you can also use Now and Tap with voice. Um, and this is good because you might want to ask a more specific question than just like recognizing what's on the screen. So here I am on Spotify, or it could be any music app, and let's say I'm listening to a song. Um, from some band called 21 Pilots. Maybe it was on a playlist that I was on. And so I want to find out more information about this band. So I could then say, OK, Google. OK, Google. Sometimes my hot words off. Uh, another way to trigger the voice instead of OK, Google is again to do the long press. Um, and then, who's the lead singer? OK, so. Google has some information about this, has an answer for this, so I can get a quick answer to my question, and go right back to what I was doing. Um, so that's an example where voice can help you like, say a much more specific question. Um, I'll just give another example here of how you can use voice. Um, on Instagram, for example, a friend of mine has been traveling in Japan, and he posted a picture here from some place. Uh, of course, I can, again, tap and hold and find out what this place is, and now on tap, we'll try and you know, figure it out based on the context of the screen. So it looks like some venue, but that's not you know, as informative as I'd want it to be. So I could say, show me some more pictures of this place. Well. Okay, so now right away, really quickly, I could get that information. And I said this place. Google knew that I must be talking about the place that's here on Instagram. Um, so that's another example of how Google Now on Tap can help you right in the moment, but this time with voice.